One interesting video that we watched, and this is the last one I have for today, was 15 sea monsters that are scarier than the Megalodon, and they made a second one. It came out last month. They made a 15 sea monsters that are scarier than the Megalodon number two. And if there's anything I know about these channels, it's that the more starved of content they become, the worse the videos get. If the first one was bad, I don't imagine how they could. the second one could not be worse. I didn't think there was anything scarier than Megalodon, an extinct mackerel shark that was thought to be one of the largest fish and sharks to oh, ever live. Extinct. That's a good start. Pliosaurus. <laughs> what? In 2008, they started recovering the bones from the island of Spitsbergen. Given that there were about 20,000 <laughs> pieces, you can only imagine how long this took. They started piecing them together like a puzzle until they formed piecing the- Piecing together fossils has got to be one of the most difficult things. It's super cool, but like so much of it is up to the interpretation of the person. Like that one, uh, the, one of the very first extinct fish that we looked at in my uh, crazy extinct fish videos was a fish that was called the mouth anus or whatever. That was like the Latin name because they, he, the original person to work with the fossils thought that the mouth and the anus were on the same side, right? And then they realized later, oh, that was wrong. Like, it's insane that it's so much of it is up to interpretation. Like so much of our, our knowledge of modern, you know, extinct ancient animals is just up to like whoever happened to be doing the reconstruction. Like it could just be completely different. And even then, even with a perfect reconstruction, who knows? Now it's known within different scientific circles as Pliosaurus funky, which was its official description granted in Pliosaurus 2012. Funky. Number 14, giant squid. <laughs> The giant squid is no exception. Not the scary. giant squid is a humans. deep ocean dwelling squid Not that even can grow to a, a massive size of around 43 feet or 13 meters. Males are slightly smaller <laughs> yeah, who is at ever approximately meet a giant squid? Feet. We say as there's people with a squid. So I don't know if that's a giant squid or not. I don't know my squid anatomy. Should I know my like squid identification better? Would that make me a better a better scientist? <laughs> feet or 10 meters. It's not uncommon to see massive sea creatures like sperm whales. Yeah, with saying circular... a giant squid is scarier than a giant shark is a little dumb. Number 13. Please just give me a decent Ancient one. Ancient Greenland shark. How is a Greenland shark a sea monster scarier than the Megalodon? They're literally the chillest things in existence. There is no thing chiller than these like 300 year old sharks that are just fucking walking around. They've seen every world war. They've seen the atom bombs. They're just chilling. They can grow up to about 21 feet long, weigh 2,200 pounds, and some of the largest have measured about 24 feet long. Has he got a parasite on his eye? They're noticeable by their short, rounded snout, what it was. small eyes, and small pectoral The first thing endorsal. that's interested me in this video was a parasite on the fish's eye. I love parasites, dude. Number 12, hagfish. Come on. They don't even have like, at least lamprey have teeth. Hagfish just literally have slime. You were saying that slime is scarier than a giant shark. I'm, I'm When something it. gets called hagfish, you just know it's gonna be a scary sea monster. Have you not. ever seen something aesthetically pleasing be called a hag? Probably not. Hagfish <laughs> okay, also enough, go by the name of slime eel. Number 11. The Faceless Cusk Eel. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's fine. I Come didn't want to sleep tonight anyway, and neither will you. And really? This is what you think is going to make me not sleep tonight? After learning more about the Faceless Cusk Eel. Sounds like the name of a cringy horror film, right? Well, the Faceless Cusk Eel, also referred to as the Faceless Just Cusk. bordering on self-awareness, talking about cringy films. You're so close to realizing, man. You're so close. They grow up to about 18 inches long. Yeah, and it's it literally the only it just known looks weird because it has to deal with higher pressure. Of course, things aren't going to look the same as human beings when they're dealing with living in the ocean at deep depths with higher pressure. Of its genus, which is quite interesting. They also you failed your class. I don't know if hagfish are in Athens. All right, guys. Now is the time to review ichthyology. If you've been watching my ichthyology class, first class or even second class have been posted, so you should now know. Do hagfish have jaws? No, they don't. So they're anathen. All right, good job, everyone. Number 10, the beast of Port Talbot. <laughs> okay, real things and then the beast of Port Talbot. Sea monster. In All May right. 2016, it looked like it had a long tail and legs, and the pair was adamant like anything. a whale like would a not have washed up that far. Melanie couldn't believe. It's probably just a whale. Like, it literally just looks like the vertebra. 
You can't see anything except that. How would you ever distinguish what this would be? How would you ever think this looks like a monster when you're literally just looking at a spinal column? She said it was a toothed whale in the Delphinidae family, which incorporates go. dolphins and orcas. Going by the skull, it was likely that the beast of Port Talbot was, in fact, a beluga, pilot, or orca whale. Some further digging revealed it was a long-finned pilot whale, and someone had charred it to lighten the carcass. So it was Number a whale. nine. So just a random whale carcass is 15 sea monsters scarier than the Megalodon. And now we're going to talk about wolf fish. You know what? Fair enough. Fuck wolf fish. Has someone ever told you that you always look grumpy even when you're not? Oh, uh, well, you I kind of feel bad. They're kind of cute similarities now. with the wolf eel. Aww. Sorry to offend. The wolf Hold eel is an Hold angry Hold on. Maybe I like them now. I feel mean now. He looked at me all cute. I said something mean about him and look how he looked at me. He's like, what? Two similarities with the wolf eel. Okay, Sorry maybe I offend. like them. They can grow up to nearly <laughs> He does long. look like fucking Dobby, though. That is unfortunate how he looks, but he's kind of cute. He's like the, the so ugly it's cute. With canine teeth in the front and molars in the posterior <laughs> position, they are able to crush like their old man prey Jenkins with a from single SpongeBob. bite. I think old man Jenkins from Spongebob is based off the wolf eel. Dums don't stand a chance. Wolf eels also have just one dorsal fin, and this extends from their head to the end of their body. Why are there so many videos 200? of people feeding and petting wolf eels? I didn't realize this was a thing. Is this a common thing that people scuba dive and then pet and feed wolf eels? There are 50 bones in between. Number eight, cone snails. When you see- You know what? Cone snails are scarier than the Megalodon. Well done to this channel. Finally. You can initially experience intense localized pain, followed by swelling, tingling, numbness, mm, and vomiting. This can then lead to Imagine muscle- Imagine being a fish. Imagine having the ability to swim, change directions, turn around, go fast. Do all these things and getting caught by a fucking snail. Paralysis. That's crazy, bro. You lost and you deserved it. Evolution picked right on that one. Their venom may be used for creating pharmaceutical drugs. A pain reliever 1,000 times more potent than morphine called Prealt was isolated from magician cone snail venom and was approved by the FDA in 2004. A thousand Number times more seven, than morphine? Jesus giant Christ. or fish. Okay, their mouth literally can barely swallow algae. Your finger probably couldn't even fit in their mouth. You have no reason to be scared of an orifice. They're oddly pleasing to the eye. Or okay, fish are found pretty dead. much all over Is the world. In an aquarium? Spoilers. They are silver with dark markings and bright red running along their fins. They're who is putting an ore fish in an, I mean, you're, the thing's just dead. Who is do, what? Oddly pleasing to the eye. The maximum Sweet recorded movie. weight of a giant ore fish is 600 pounds. To yeah, be honest, ore scientists- fish are one of those things that like look like aliens. There's like an insane creature that is crazy that it actually exists, but not even remotely scary. Don't know much about They're the giant ore fish. Number six, red hand fish. This is scarier well, than the Megalodon. not particularly monster-like. So far, red Whoa. handfish have only been discovered on two small reefs in Frederick Henry Bay, which <laughs> measure about 75 <laughs> meters so and 50 meters. It's not known whether they're present anywhere else in the world or whether they're native to Tasmania. As a result, their conservation status is listed as critically endangered. Number five. What? How was that even remotely scary? That was the cutest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. Tasseled Wobby Gong. Oh man, I wish the I had watched this video before the drawing competition. I would have remembered what it looked like. Wobby Gong is so unusual looking that it doesn't even look like the species of carpet shark that it is. Instead, it looks like a. We're just listing things that look weird now. We're not even listing things that are remotely scary. These, of, these are present around their heads and extend down to their chin. These sharks also have complex huh. skin colors with. That was a really good Pets demonstration of suction. Their chin. These I don't think I've ever seen such a good demonstration. I always try to explain, like I tried to explain in my ichthyology lecture, how having a protrusible mouth allows you to like suck in fish. But look at this. The guy doesn't shark. the shark doesn't even have to go anywhere. Also have complex skin colors in. with small blotches, which allows them to blend into their environment quite well. Number four. Mosasaur. What is this list? Cone snail, tasseled wabagong, handfish, and the fucking mosasaur. I'm sure the mosasaur wasn't- Number three, the fang tooth. 
Oh my, my God. eyes basically bled when I saw a picture of the fang tooth. That's not a fang This tooth. deep sea fish isn't exactly a beauty contest winner, but at least it is harmless Aww, to he's humans. Cute. Fang tooth fish. Did you just say it's harmless to humans? Sea monsters are scarier than- Live in tropical and cold temperature waters and don't have any close relatives. What's also quite unusual is that they have small fins, are spineless, and their scales are actually embedded into their skin. But aside from their looks- How do you think scales normally work? Scales are embedded in their skin. Do you think other fish scales just float? All scales are embedded into skin. I mean, you'll see it this this Friday if you watch the ichthyology lecture on internal anatomy. I talk about the skill la skin layers. Yeah, scales are magnetic. Scale aura. They float like chain mail. Yet yeah, no, scales are embedded in the epidermal layer. Number two, Mariana snailfish. A literal snailfish, just a blob of meat with an eyes. At the in the fucking Mariana Trench is a sea monster Ish. scarier than a if giant shark. If you were to shark. look into a fish tank full of different species, this snailfish from the Western Pacific Ocean lives at depths of up to about twenty six thousand feet oh, I love and basically fish. looks like pale tadpoles. They grow up. I to never about realized their caudal fin is so distinct. Feet. Look at the caudal fin. It's not like part of you know the dorsal and then anal fin. It's like its own separate thing. Like you can clearly distinctly see the caudal fin and then how these connect on top of it. It basically cool. looks like pale tadpoles. They grow up to about 11.3 inches long and only weigh about 0 0.35 I kind of just pounds. assumed they had eel tails where like the whole tail is connected. The dorsal, caudal, and anal fin were connected. I never looked at them that close. It's pretty cool. Number one. All right, this has got to be the scariest sea monster. Scarier than the Megalodon. Scarier than a giant, large-toothed, extinct shark. Bob it were. <laughs> yeah, it's the fucking sea cucumber video all over again. Green, red, and more. Bob it worms are ambush predators that burrow their bodies in the ocean. <laughs> it's literally just a centipede that fell in the water. Yep. Floor and use their antenna to detect prey. When they gotcha, feel bitch. something, they strike with the sharp parts. How did that fish not react? Their antenna to detect. Fish got bit once and said, "Nah." Detect prey when they feel that. something. So what do you think? Sure. I think that was the absurd. I need to recap. Giant squid, Greenland shark was in there. That feels like hours ago that I watched that. Hagfish, cusk eel, a fucking whale vertebra, wolf eel, cone snail, oarfish, handfish, tasseled wabagong. Uh oh, it's the fucking mosasaur, fang tooth, Mariana snailfish, bobbit worm. What an insane list that is. Whoa.